all right so you're probably wondering why i'm on a bike ride well number one i'm in the netherlands and they love bikes in the netherlands but also i keep having flashbacks of my car accident and i am not too comfortable getting behind the wheel just yet and also weighing on that is the fact that we are in third place in the league despite being the only undefeated team in the league and with that said we head into match week five of the UEFA Europa League FC 20 facing off against Royal Union St. Giloase and Van Wolfswinkel getting us kicked off here and Carlo just taking a moment to pass to Eiting. And we need a result here because we are struggling in the Europa League. And Francois with a pass, but Van Wolfswinkel intercepting it and Eiting on the ball now, passing it to Dennis Cotto. And Cotto on the ball with a beautiful skill move. And Cotto cutting back in on his right. And Cotto still on the ball. Cotto having a shot into the back of the net, it goes. Dennis Cotto with a tremendous goal in the UEFA Europa League. And look at that smile on his face. Instantly putting his team up in this match. A fantastic right-footed shot into the far post. And Dennis Cotto putting his team up 1-0 within the first 20 minutes of the match. And FC 20 now winning 1-0 in the 17th minute courtesy of Dennis Cotto. And Donnie on the ball. That's a big mistake from Donnie because Dennis Cotto applying defensive pressure. And Francois on the ball once again. And Van Hoot passing it to Francois. And Sadiki on the ball now. And Sadiki under pressure passing it back to McAllister. And Donnie on the ball once again. And Burgess under pressure, passing it to Lazare. And Ivanovic dribbling the ball forward. And Lazare on the ball now. Lazare in acres of space has a shot into the near post. And Royal Union St. Giloase are back in this match in the 27th minute. And Hilgers passing it to Eiting. And Van Roy passing it to Cotto, who finds Rotz. And Cotto now on the ball. And Dennis Cotto dribbling down the middle of the field. And Cotto cutting through the defense. Cotto ripping a shot into the back of the net. It goes. And Dennis Cotto showing the fans that he is not afraid to drive. But we all know that deep down he is scared to drive. But the man behind the mask ripping a shot into the back of the net. Nothing the keeper can do to stop that one. And FC 20 winning 2-1. And Rodriguez on the ball with a fake shot. Rodriguez lobbing the ball up. And Van Hoot crossing the ball back in. Van Roy there to clear it. And Dennis Cotto on the ball now. And Cotto passing it to Sadilek. And Sadilek pass blocked. And this half will end 2-1 in favor of FC 20. And Dennis Carter with a brace. And to get us kicked off in the second half, Lazare on the ball now, passing it to Donnie. And Doni, I'm going to keep calling him Donnie. No, I'm just kidding, I'll call him Doni. Lazare passing it to Doni. And Doni on the ball, and Cotto with a sliding tackle. And a referee, I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. I did not do anything here. Ref, I did nothing here. And I pick up a yellow card for my actions, and we're going to watch this replay. You got me. And Van Hoot on the ball, passing it to Francois 
pass intercepted by Aiting, who passes it to Dennis Cotto. And Cotto on the ball in the last minutes of the match. With a bad shot, Bacardo on the ball once again, but losing out on the ball. And this match will end 2-1 in favor of FC Twente. And we pick up the crucial three points in the Europa League. And with that three points, we find ourselves climbing up the table in 21st place, which means we are qualifying for the playoff round as of now. We have seven points on the board after five matches played. And heading into match week 15 of the Eredivisie, FC Twente facing off against FC Utrecht. And we find ourselves in another must-win match due to the fact that we are slowly but surely chipping away at the deficit that we find ourselves in the league table. And we will need to continue winning every match we can if we're going to mount any sort of title challenge. And here's Dennis Cotto on the ball, getting through one defender, trying to get past, didn't, but not able to. And Cotto on the ball once again, losing the ball. And Aronson getting past Cotto and another defender. I think it was Iting. And Aronson threading the ball through to Romney, who puts the ball into the back of the net. And we find ourselves down 1-0 in the 14th minute in front of our own home fans. And it was my mistake which led to the goal. So I got to hold myself accountable for that one. And here's Cotto on the ball, losing the ball immediately. Aronson threading the ball through to Min. And Min passing it to Aronson, who has a shot, but Hilgers is there with the block. And here comes the corner kick. Van Roy is there to block it. And Deedon on the ball once again. And Deedon just hitting the ball out for a goal kick. And Van Wolfswinkel heading the ball to Cotto. And Cotto with beautiful control. And Cotto, immaculate control, should I say. Passing it to Van Wolfswinkel, who passes the ball back to Cotto. And Cotto finds Ross. And Ross has a shot and puts it into the back of the net. And FC 20 back in this match, courtesy of a Rutz goal. And Cotto with a fantastic assist right there, showing his awareness, getting that statistic for the assist to make himself look better. And Cotto passing the ball to Rutz. And here we are making a run down to the middle of the field. And Cotto on the ball now. And we're just going to take the ball. Cut in. Have a shot on our left foot. But what a terrible shot we have just taken. And we head into halftime 1-1. When I should have put my team up 2-1. And to start this second half, we have Cotto on the ball. With a ball roll. Cotto dribbling the ball in and out. Kathleen on the ball now. Min having a shot, but Unersal is there to make an easy save. And Cotto now passing the ball to Kuypers. Back to Cotto. The ball goes. And Cotto now with a beautiful pass to Rotz. Iting finding Van Roy. Van Roy finding Cotto. And Cotto on the ball now, passing it to Sadelec. And Cotto passing it to Kuypers. Kuypers on the ball now, finding Cotto and Cotto. With a beautiful roll. And Cotto now cutting in. Having a shot. Curling it into the net. What a fantastic goal scored by Dennis. Cotto. And with a backflip. A tremendous display of athleticism. A tremendous display of football skill. And a tremendous display of finishing. By Dennis Cotto. And FC 20 find themselves up 2-1 in this match. And now FC Twente just have the job of maintaining this lead. And Aronson on the ball now. And Kathleen with a brilliant run and having a shot and ripping it into the back of the net. And we have once again thrown away another lead. And at this point, you cannot blame Dennis Cotto. You have to blame 
his FC 20 teammates. And here's Cotto on the ball. Taking the ball into the middle of the field, cutting in. And Cotto with a ball roll, but unable to get a shot off. Aronson dribbling down the touchline. Passing the ball to El Caruni. Wunerstahl throwing the ball to Cotto. And Cotto threading the ball through the rots and rots, bombing it down the touchline. Van Wolfswinkel passing the ball to Cotto, who has a shot on his left foot and into the back of the net. A tremendous goal by Dennis Cotto. On his weak foot, if he even has a weak foot. Putting it into the top bins. And FC Twente now winning 3-2. Courtesy of another Dennis Cotto banger. And this man keeps scoring banger after banger after banger. And here's Miguel on the ball now. And Miguel heading towards goal in the last minute of the match. And Fraulo having a shot and into the back of the net it goes. And FC Utrecht collecting a point at the end of the match and celebrating this victory. Just like they've won the World Cup. And Dennis Cotto with a last minute attempt and Cotto with the free kick, passing it to Sadalek. Sadalek back to Cotto. Cotto having a shot off the bar. And Deden clearing it out. And this match will end 3-3. Three, three. A disappointing draw for our team, as we thought we had the three points in the bag. A last second equalizer by FC Utrecht. And we find ourselves in third place on 29 points. Five points behind both PSV and Feyenoord. We still find ourselves undefeated in the league. And that is where we will end today's episode. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy. This has been Dennis from Clowning Wall Gaming, and I will see you next time. Peace!